Hi friends, I'm Psychic Medium Tara Cecilia. Welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before, welcome back. If you are already a member of this amazing community, I post lifestyle and spirituality videos weekly here on my YouTube channel. And it's just so amazing to see the community growing. I am super excited about today's video because it goes along with something I care so deeply about which is goal setting it's so important in your life just like professional and school life to have goals but also in your spiritual like well-being to have goals and today I'm going to be reviewing the goals I set for myself in 2020 like going into 2020 which I don't watch my videos after I post them I just like watch them so many times as I'm editing them give them one final look and then I just post it so I don't not that I don't remember what goals I set for myself, but I know a lot of things changed <laughs> and I blocked a lot of that year out. So I'm very interested to see what still managed to get accomplished. <laughs> Alright, so I've just pulled up the video. It's 15 minutes long. We're just going to watch the vision board portion of this because girl was talking a lot. Before we do the whole screen share, technical, analytic, analyzation, I want to show you all my vision board. Before we even get into this, this got so destroyed in the move into this apartment and the cats got at it. It's terrible, but I loved this vision board. Me, the vision board. All right, so for this vision board this year, I divided it in like half. So this half is more like professional, career focused things. And then this half is more like home personal things. So this right here, I created my book, which is a New York Times bestseller and an Amazon Prime or Amazon bestselling book. And I just kind of went on Canva and I made a book cover and like it's by me and everything. I also went online and I just printed off like I want 10,000 followers on Instagram. So I am writing a book. I mean I'm technically writing a couple books at the same time but I am have a do have a main focus on one book and it is still a goal to I didn't so much talk about that here it's a goal this year to get it completed and submit it to publishers so I'm either going to publish it through a publishing house or if it just doesn't get bought by a publishing house, I am just gonna self-publish. But I'm in writing a book, like thousands and thousands and thousands of words, hitting goals for this book. So this is kind of kind of happening. Um, it's not a New York bestseller or an Amazon bestseller. It's just a book on Google Drive. <laughs> but, and I also said 10,000 followers on Instagram. Like, I've definitely gained followers, but girl, you ain't nowhere near that. <laughs> So I put 10,000 Instagram followers, it's in this pretty pink, it kind of goes. The 100,000 YouTube plaque, silver, that's something, that's been a goal for a really long time, but I've kind of let it get away from me. But now it's like, no, this like needs to happen. I also, this was a lot of fun and I actually think it's like really funny. I went online and I found like book tour pictures and like pictures of like Lady Gaga with Oprah on her like visionaries tour and like Teen Vogue Summit panel and I put my face, like it looks so funny, I put my face like over people doing things like that that I want. So like signing a book deal with Barnes and Noble or like selling a book. Um, this is actually Lady Gaga. <laughs> I put my face over Lady Gaga with Oprah and then just like some book tour pictures. I just thought like that's just so 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 funny not much emotion i don't think here there it's it's actually very businessy here too i think um one that i'm just gonna start with like i'm all business it's very i'm an emotional person it's not that i'm not an emotional person it's just you gotta go through a couple layers to get to my emotions <laughs> like the most major of the goals which is to be debt free i definitely put some like focus on this, painted it gold, put a little glitter on it. I want to be debt free. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I paid off one of my credit cards 
that is one of a number of credit cards that I have. I am not proud of that. Uh, and I'm going to be doing a whole series about my debt and getting out of debt and that's just like a reality and it's a reality for a lot of people so I'm not like trying to be ashamed of it but it's definitely not something that like I'm proud of it's just something that like happened it did it just happened I've paid off more credit cards since this video and I'm really close to paying off my car um but I'm still in a lot of debt <laughs> and I think I might have actually had a really bad situation with debt happen after this when I lost my job, but we're in a better place now. And, um, it happened with many swipes. <laughs> but yeah, I really want to be debt free outside of a mortgage. I know that will probably happen and I know I'll be in debt because of a mortgage and like a home. But I'm talking about like credit card debt. Like I want that to be done. I've cut credit cards. It's a whole thing. And I would love to see an 800 plus credit score. We are not there. We are not there right now, but we will be. I've got the good fortune kitty here because I love my kitties. Although they sometimes they sleep like that and it just it just speaks to me now at a level that it didn't. And again, money. But like money from doing good, which is what I put the flower money symbol. Uh, and then I've got this really beautiful kitchen because I just I have a really, really small kitchen right now in my apartment. It's like a gala kitchen and I hate it. So to have like a spacious, beautiful kitchen with like light and windows would be amazing. I just love it. And I just put some, I found this in a magazine. It was just so green and pretty. I manifested that this apartment has a beautiful kitchen. I'll insert a video. It has a beautiful kitchen. It has lights. It has sliding glass doors. It, we have like the light hits our dining room area. It's open, it's beautiful. We love this kitchen, we love this apartment. Um, so I definitely, we man, me and my fiance definitely manifested that, that into existence. And it's only the beginning, like our home will have a beautiful kitchen too. Manifestation in action. Also I don't have the space, but I just love to have that, like have a nice home, the little home symbol. And then, so over here, me and Zach are getting married this year. We're getting married no, in November. We did not. So I just put like a really happy, I just want to have a really happy wedding day. And I've kind of been a really like chill vibe, like a chill vibe bride so far. Um, a little too I'm, chill. Um, maintain that through the whole process. I'm sure the next couple of months I will be more stressed out. But. But a happy couple there and I really want to take a cruise to Hawaii for our honeymoon. Will that happen? I'm filming this literally in the middle of the coronavirus. Um, I said literally in the middle of the coronavirus. It was March 16th. I, it's March 2nd, 2021. I'm still in quarantine. Okay. Pandemic. So will the cruise to Hawaii happen in November? We'll find out. But I did put like a little, I found this on like Pinterest and I put like cruise to Hawaii right there. And I love this right here. I want to work from home. Like that is what I want to do. I work from home now and it's amazing. It's the most incredible thing to happen. Oh, if anything, that's the best thing I manifested. That in my kitchen, best things I manifested. It would be so helpful if I could work from home because of my fibromyalgia and like autoimmune issues um, it would just be such a gift so I really want to envision that I am able to work from home um, working with clients working for myself I want to work from home I will work from home I will work from home I will work from home please Lord let me work from home. you do work from home you do work from home you do work from home best thing ever work from home all right so this is this is personal stuff. And I also have like items. Well, those were my 2020 goals. It's funny now to watch that and see what happened and what did not happen. Both because of myself and because of like the restrictions because of the pandemic kind of put on me, my life, everyone's life. Um, it was, that was interesting to see what 2020 March 16th Terry thought was gonna happen um wow 
let me know what your 2020 goals were and if any of them got accomplished or if they changed as the year went on let me know i love just like seeing people develop and become like their most full selves how they can be their most them most authentic most amazing versions of themselves and also love seeing people realize that something's not working for them and that they can change it like you're in control you can change something whenever you want um, just take control thank you all so much for watching this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be reminded when new videos come out i'm tara cecilia and i will see you in my next video thank you so much Oh,